Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. So I am going to show you guys the fruits of all my labor this past month. And if you watched my plans video, then you know that May was dedicated to works in progress. That is all I was going to do all month long and I was not going to make a new project at all, no new garments. And quite honestly, that was more of a challenge than I had thought it was going to be. You know, you get tempted and lured, new patterns come out, you see somebody else's new make and you're like, oh, I have the perfect thing to make that. But instead, I got into the sewing room and I only worked on projects that were completely unfinished. And truth be told, I did not get all of them done, but the ones I did not finish were consciously decided on. So I will show you those two and tell you why I didn't finish them and what my plan is with those. But in the end, I think I added maybe 10 new garments to my wardrobe, which is wild. I don't even feel like I sewed that much this month. Um, definitely didn't cut anything out. So I, I saved some time there. Maybe that is what I'm picking up on. Okay, so if you followed along with the sew along, then you know that I finished my M7405. And some of these just came out of the wash. So I apologize that they're completely wrinkled and a mess, but I'm gonna show you them and their beautiful versions with me wearing them as well. So don't have to look at this too much. Um, so this was the sew along. This was a project that I worked on um, every week, a little bit every week for the past eight weeks. And this is my finished garment. I also wanna say I've been getting all of your finished garment pictures as well that you guys have been sending me on social media and I am just overjoyed every single time a new one comes in I feel like I don't know like a proud mother bird or something and I'm just like oh look what they did and so many of you are sharing stories about how when you finished you know your husband wanted to take you out to dinner in it and you know creating those memories and those experiences around a creative project I think is a thousand percent what this is all about. It's so much more than just making something. It's being able to share that with so many people that you come across and the people that are already in your lives. And I just think that that's so, so beautiful. So if you haven't sent me a picture of yours yet, please do so. I really, really am enjoying seeing them. Okay, the next thing is this skirt. And if you remember from my, uh, plans video all I needed to do was the hem and so I hemmed it and I wore it and I don't love it <laughs> and a lot of you um so since I wore it I also posted it for me made May and so a lot of you weighed in on kind of what you think might be going on and I agree that um there are fit issues in the back piece and possibly some fit issues in the waistband so I'm gonna kind of just put it in the back of my closet and see if as some of this weight starts to come off, I'm on uh, my health journey continues for those of you that have been following for a very, very long time. Um, once I got to Charlotte, I was able to find a new doctor and we've done a lot more testing. And so I'm on this whole new regimen. I'll keep you guys posted. Maybe you'll just notice it, I don't know. Um, so as some of the weight starts to come off, maybe this will fit a little bit better that's what i'm hoping for anyways but i don't know it's not terrible it's just not great you know um i also fill it finished my green line willow tank top in this super cute uh embroidered swiss dot cotton that i got from mood fabrics uh, this i cut out last month as one of my plans and then never got around to sewing it so i sewed it up and I loved wearing it. It was so comfortable. It has been blistering hot. I think that's why I'm so shiny. It's uh, 98 degrees today. It's unbearable, unbearable. I go out in the morning and do my errands. And then once like 11.30 rolls around, I just, I just wanna be home inside. I don't wanna be anywhere. Um, okay, so you guys might remember this dress from the refashion that I did, remember this one with the embroidered hem 
Fun fact though, when I filmed that video, I hadn't sewn on the buttons yet. Uh, I just had it pinned in the back. So <laughs> that happens now and again, but I mean, I had sewn this months ago, maybe six months ago. So it was time to put the buttons on. So I put the buttons on, I wore it. It was nice to have buttons and not pinned. So this one got done as well. Super excited about that. Rolling right through these. Um, next up, okay, so this dress I haven't filmed yet. I haven't done a pattern review. This was my first time making this dress pattern and you guys have never seen it before. So it is finally finished. I had to sew up the back, hem it, and sew the lining, hand sew the lining down. But it is done. You can tell it has a really super cool bodice and like a play on stripes, which you guys know I'm a fan of. It has these big thick straps, and then it also has this little tie feature in the back, which is super cute as well. So I will get this up on the channel in June. I will wear it and film it and do a whole pattern review. You can learn all about the fabric, all about the pattern, um, all that good stuff, but I just needed to finish it first. You know what I'm saying? So there's this one, super cute. Um, what else? Oh, okay. So this guy, if you remember from the plans video, I was like, oh, it's completely done. It was. And I tried it on and I have no idea why it ended up in the makes pile or in the works in progress pile. So this is another example of something that I just need to film. Um, it is a little inappropriate for summer with these leather, you know, little bits. It's not something I'm gonna wear all day in 98 degree weather, that's for sure. It is more of a fall garment, but I am going to braid the elements just to get it filmed and get it up on the channel so that you guys can see it and learn about it. It is a really, really cute um, simplicity for Project Runway pattern. So I will be able to tell you guys all about that. But as far as I can tell, I mean, I inspected it thoroughly and there was, I don't know, all I can think of is that at one point, I didn't think it fit well. I think maybe something with the zipper, but when I put it on with this version of my body that I have now, it looked fine. So we're just gonna rock and roll with that. And if I need to make alterations down the road, then I will. Um, but I will do them hopefully in time before I forget what the alteration was that I wanted to do to begin with. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, next up was this little cutie, another one that I need to film and get on the channel. Uh, all I had to do for this was uh, hand sew the uh, band, the inner, I don't know, what's that? What, I, my brain's not working. The, um, you know, how you flip this to the inside and you sew it down by hand. I had to do that all the way around this little band. But technically, it's still a work in progress because I can't find my hook and eyes to save my life. I don't know where they are. So I know that's gonna take like five minutes watching some TV, I just need to find them. But this is actually, I mean, it is a micro suede, so you would think not appropriate for summer, but it's very, very, very lightweight and, you know, kind of like a halter design. So it's actually more like this, um, the neckline. Uh, so I think it could work, uh, maybe for nights whenever it drops down, heaven forbid, into the high 80s. Oh, Lord. But yeah, so just missing the hook and eye on this guy, which is annoying because I really wanted to finish it completely for you guys, but I just can't find them and I can't bring myself to go buy more when I know I have them laying around here somewhere. All right, next up is this little number. Uh, remember the zipper was like coming undone? Uh, it had come apart. So basically I just went to town on hand sewing and I just hand sewed it, hand binded it. I just really whipped it in there so that hopefully it won't come undone again. Um, but that was a really quick fun one. I actually already have this one on the channel because at some point it was finished. It was just when the zipper came undone um, is when it ended up in the works in progress pile. But there's a video to this, I will link it here. And then finally, there is this guy. This is the Soaholic 
maxi skirt. The name of it is falling out of my head. Um, and all it needed was a hem. So I was able to hem this. It actually needed to be shortened significantly. I wanna say maybe I took off six inches and it's still like floor length. Um, again, with the hook and eye, since I couldn't find them, I'm still waiting on those, but they will go on the back here. So I tried this on again and I'm feeling like it's slightly more flattering than I had imagined, but it's definitely not one of those that I put on and I'm like, yeah, this looks good, you know? So I will film this. I will show you what it looks like on and then you guys can let me know. I know you're all very opinionated and I love your opinions when I ask for them. So, um, so yeah. Soaholic, God, I feel like the name's right on the tip of my tongue. Um, but it is really nice, lightweight, rayon chalet, I believe. So I really want it to work. It's just these panels on the midriff. I'm not 100% on those. So we will see what you guys think about this one. All right, so those are the things that I finished. There was actually only one thing that I started working on and realized I can't finish this uh, without kind of like, I'm sorry, it's like completely stuck. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, my goodness. Um, without some sort of creativity at least. So remember these pants that I showed you guys. Well, they're not pants anymore. Well, I mean, they are, but they're pants without a waistband at this point and without a zipper. So I completely undid them all, undid the waistband, uh, undid the zipper, and then they were too small. The waistband was never going to close around me. So I ended up taking the uh, pleat that was in the back of the pant out or at least I did one of them. And when I did that, you know, it got me a lot more inches around the waist. So now this is the right circumference, but the waistband obviously is not. And I looked everywhere for scraps because I really don't need that much. I just need a few more inches on either end of this waistband. And I must have used up every little bit that I have to make this. So at this point, I think I'm asking for an opinion. What you guys think I should do? I can use white, obviously. I can, uh, well, I don't know about any colors other than white. So I guess my point is if you were me, if you added a white waistband onto these pants, would that be unflattering? because it would be like drawing, you know, a line around your waist. Would it be like tuxedo-y with like a cummerbund? And if so, is that a bad thing? Um, this fabric is 100% cotton. It's like an itty bitty microscopic uh, black and white stripe. Um, and if I did the white waistband, I don't know, just what do you guys think of that idea? Like if you don't have any more of the fabric, you know, another thing I could do is I could use this for the front and then use white for the back. Is that weird? <laughs> I don't have a lot of great options. Um, no option that really jumps out at me. So let me know what of those you like or if you can think of something else that I haven't thought of, let me know that as well. But the pants themselves, I do really, really love the way that they look. So I don't wanna toss them. I wanna have them make it work, but because they are such a billowy pant, the top is going to be either tucked in or I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm trying to, a lot of you are gonna say, just put whatever waistband on and then wear your shirt over it. And I'm not sure I'm gonna to wanna to do that because uh, it would just be like a lot of volume on the top and a lot of volume on the bottom. And that usually doesn't look great on me. So I'd like it to be, you know, kind of like a fit and flare really is what it's, 
the outfit would be. So I don't know. Let me know what your thoughts are. Or if you think I should just chunk them and call it a day. Or I can, uh, even if I shortened them and because the legs are so wide, this is the leg. This is one leg. <laughs> um, pretty much a waistband in and of itself. So I could shorten them and then piece, to, piece together those uh, little bands that I cut off to make a new waistband. But then they'd be like, I don't know. That might actually might be the most likely option. But if I wanted to make it this width, which I kind of like how wide it is, um, I would need to cut something. How many inches off? I would need to cut roughly, I think that's a two inch. So I'd need to cut roughly three inches to have enough for seam allowance and everything. That might be it. That might be the option. Anyways, so I couldn't finish these because I hadn't decided what I was gonna do yet. But I think I may have just decided for myself. Next up is this little gym. And I didn't, so it's too small. And I could have basically undone the entire zipper, undone the entire piping at the waistband in order to get myself maybe half an inch uh, on the side seam. And it's still not gonna fit. Even when I do that, it's not going to fit. So I didn't see the point in going through all that trouble to have something in the end that still wouldn't fit. So I'm going to leave this in the work in progress pile for when my new figure takes shape um, and decide on finishing it then. I just didn't see the point in going through all that work for it to still just sit in the back of my closet. So it's gonna stay in the work in progress pile. It's just super, super cute and I love it so much. Um, and I'm just going to give myself like, I don't know, a year or two and see if my new body will ever fit into this dress. And then if not, that's fine too. <laughs> but that's what I, I decided. I debated it for a while on what I should do. I looked at it. I inspected it. I considered taking out the darts. Uh, I decided, I, I contemplated a lot of things and ultimately decided that it needs to stay like it is considering all the work that's already gone into it. Um, and we'll see what happens with me and if the two of us can ever live harmoniously. <laughs> um, okay, next up, oh, this was another really disappointing moment because I was actually really trying to finish this jacket. So this is a like waterfall front suede jacket and I finished off one whole front, pressed it, uh, understitched it, did all the beautiful things to it. I added the sleeve and when I put it on, first of all, the coloring isn't great. Second of all, you can actually kind of see it here. Something is happening along this line. I don't know enough about sleeves, but I think that this sleeve cap or the sleeve um, diameter uh, is too small. I don't know. And then this line here that's supposed to be like a princess dart never really fully made it over to my bust. So there ended up being of just a lot of extra excess fabric in this area. And I just decided that this is a fail. This is a fail. It is not going to be remade into anything. It is just probably going to go in the garbage. I know that's horrible and I'm sure a lot of you are gasping, but it's just, it's just not worth it. I don't think to spend all the time to finish it. Um, it wasn't that much fabric to begin with. It's a really little itty bitty crop jacket, but it's just not going to work for me or for anyone else. You know, I don't want to finish this, send it off to Goodwill and then and them end up having to throw it away because it didn't fit anybody well enough. It's not that it's too small. It's just, I think the either the drafting is bad or this was the bad wrong fabric for it. Something about it isn't working. So 
this ultimately I decided was a fail. Okay, moving on. Now we've got this guy. Remember, this is like a little cape jacket. And honestly, the thought of finishing a wool cape right now is just making me sick to my stomach. It is way too hot, like way, way, way too hot to even consider sewing with wool. Obviously, I'm not going to wear it for months and months and months. I do think it will be great here in Charlotte where the temperatures do cool down enough to where you have like a winter season. Um, so this is going to stay in the work in progress pile until, you know, sew it all up September or I don't know, whenever I decide to do this again, that will be on the list, I promise. I just can't, I can't even touch wool right now. I had to put it down. I can't even hold it up in this video. It's just too, too hot. And it's just, oh, exhausting even just thinking about it. So that's gonna stay undone. And then finally, we have this little guy. And this is the same story as the bird dress. It doesn't fit me now. There's really no good way to alter it so that it will fit uh so i will finish it um in like 20 pounds so <laughs> whenever we get to that point i think that this will be super cute and great and i'll be so happy that i have it uh mostly done it's just not going to be done right now and also this is such a special occasion dress and i've got nowhere to wear this until the holidays come around again. So who knows what will happen in the next six months, you know? So I'm gonna keep this again in the back of my sewing room closet and we will revisit it then. And that's it, that's it. So as you can see, I was able to get a ton of work in progress projects completed and added to the closet, which is just so nice and exciting. Good news for you guys, lots of new videos coming where I'm gonna be able to review those and uh, show you them, model them. I know you guys love those videos. And then while I was doing this, I actually discovered an entire bin of projects that have been cut out, but not sewn. So more of the state where the Morris, no, where the Willow Tank was, the yellow and blue one, where it had been cut out, but not sewn. So, I do want to do this again. I did feel very accomplished every time I finished something. And I do want to wipe out that bin, decide fully whether this is something I really wanna make, or this is something I want to donate to someone who can finish it, or, you know, just decide on what to do. So, um, I don't know that that's gonna happen in the summertime, but like I said, maybe in September, I can pick some of these up again and do another version of this, like work on your works in progress exclusively. But for right now, I'm really just itching to make some new stuff. Uh, a lot of the things that I have worn for Me Made May have really reminded me of some of the really great patterns that I already own and they're already fit and the pattern pieces are all cut out already. So I'm really inspired to work on like revisiting some old patterns, but also I really feel like the summer patterns from uh, Butterick and New Look and McCall's were really great. So I wanna pick up some new ones too and just, you know, sew some new things. So I'm not gonna just completely transition into you know, a whole other month of works in progress that will just not be creatively fulfilling for me. So anyways, I am proud of what I was able to accomplish though. Hopefully this will inspire you to tackle some of your works in progress and stay tuned for like, what was that? Three or four uh, new videos with whole new dresses and garments that I will be able to show you guys. I'm really excited for you to see them. So that's going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye.